guys, so today I'm doing trash talking. I got my empties here and I'm gonna let you know whether I'm gonna repurchase all this stuff or not. We're gonna go through my trash. Look how full this is. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of makeup that I'm tossing out that's no good. Um, and also, there's more stuff in here. I am super casual today because it's the weekend and you know what? I'm casual anyways. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I got a whole bunch of crap here. Well, let's jump right in. Alright, first things first, I have here a shampoo and conditioner. This is from one of my favorite brands for hair care. It's the brand called Organics and I love it so much. This was the Cherry Blossom and Ginseng Shampoo and Conditioner. I did really like this, but it weighed my hair down way too much. I have kind of like thin hair and it would it would just weigh it down and make it too limp and didn't like that. So I won't repurchase those, but they are really good. Very moisturizing. Another hair product here I have is from Professional by Nature's Therapy Silkworks. It's a silk oil. And I've had this forever. There's a little bit in here. And it smells really good. It smells really good. It smells like cherry almonds. But again, it was really thick and heavy and it made my hair look really greasy. So I will not repurchase this, but it did smell really nice. Alright, I have a lot of makeup, you guys. A lot of this stuff is really old and this is stuff from when I was cleaning out my makeup. This is a um, Hard Candy Lip Gloss. It's the Glossaholic range in the shade Fireball. I had this for a very, very long time. I did not like it at all. I regret purchasing this. Look at this huge wand. Like really? That's like the size of my face. <laughs> um, super sticky. Look at this. Super sticky. Really goopy. I do not recommend these at all. Their plumping lip glosses are really good, but these, uh-uh. It's going bye-bye. Alright, these right here are from Sally Hansen. I purchased these a couple Christmases ago, like a really long time ago. It came in a set. It was on the clearance section. Anyways, this is their Lip Inflation Extreme. <laughs> yeah, it's extreme alright. This literally, you guys, feels like a bee is stinging your lips repeatedly. Yeah. Hate those. Definitely glad to get rid of those. I don't know why I kept them so long. I don't know. This is a Milani lip gloss. It's called the Crystal Gloss for Lips in the shade... I don't even know what the shade is. This, again, something else that was on clearance and it was unopened. Um, it's just a nude color. Super sticky. Did not like it at all. Gross. I do not recommend those. Alright, here we go. Some old school makeup. <laughs> this is really old school. This is from Physicians Formula. It's their talc free mineral wear liquid foundation. Horrible. Did not like it. It was super cakey. Made me break out like a mother trucker. Oh yeah. It has this really weird sponge on the top. I don't even think they make this anymore. Do you guys remember this foundation? Because yeah, I, I thought I was looking so good rocking this foundation when it really looked like crap. I have here this Hard Candy Glow All The Way Tropical Tan. I don't know why I bought this. It's actually like a self tanner. This is super old. It smells funny. And when the scent changes on a product and the and like the formula changes, you need to toss it out. It just, it, it stinks. Alright, I have a mascara here. This is Neutrogena Healthy Volume Waterproof Mascara. This was my holy grail favorite. It's, I, I mean, I, I just really love this. I will not purchase this again because Neutrogena is not cruelty free. I wish that they were. Come on, Neutrogena. Get on, get on the good side. This was, it's like one of those things that I was using when I was a teenager. Like, this is just a classic makeup item for me. So this is really hard to let go of, but I want to try some different mascaras. I tell you what, I have had the worst luck Ever this past month I have literally I think I've broke like two or three lip products and this was not salvageable at all this is the elf jumbo lip gloss stick in in the nude I have all of these shades and I do have a review up as well um, I did a review a long time ago on these and they're amazing I have all the colors I will not repurchase this one just because I felt like this nude shade really washed my lips out the elf powder brush this one has to go bye-bye because 
it has been shedding on me like crazy and it like puts little hairs on your face. Not good. Um, needs to go in the trash. I love these brushes and I have a whole bunch of them, but it sucks because after a while they start shedding like crazy. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. I know a lot of people rave about this on YouTube. I will not repurchase this. This made my hair really dry. I just don't feel like this worked at all for me, so no, I will not repurchase. That is a miss for me. Um, Alright, some eyelashes. These are the Ultimate Eyelashes Holiday Set from e.l.f. No, no, no. You know what? I love e.l.f., you guys, but they're false eyelashes. After using some other brands, I realized that these are just really not that good. They're so lightweight and flimsy, and the band is just so straight. I just feel like whenever I try to glue them on to my eyes, it goes on to like here. Alright, more makeup. I have this Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. I did hit pan in it. No, I will not repurchase this. I don't like it anymore. This used to be my favorite like when I first started purchasing makeup. And I just realized it really makes my face look dry and chalky. That is not an attractive look. No, it's not. So that is going bye bye because I'm just, I'm done with it. I just can't handle it anymore. Concealer from Rimmel London. This is a hide the blemish concealer stick. And there's a little bit left, but I'm, I'm done with that as well. This was okay. Now I will not repurchase. This is from Black Radiance. And this is the Fine Line Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. No, no, no. <laughs> I do not recommend this. This was a miss big time. I was so excited because this was on sale for like a dollar something. And do you see the applicator? It is a sponge hard tip applicator. And see how it's bent? It's like, it's falling apart. It's ripping at the tip there. Not waterproof, does not go on smoothly. Absolutely disliked this. Horrible. All right, more eyeliners. Um, I, I just love my liquid eyeliners. I love black. <laughs> that was my phone. <laughs> this is the Jordana Fabuliner. Also another pen type applicator. I know a lot of people like this. I just absolutely hate it. Uh, the applicator is really stiff. And I just feel like it goes on really patchy. It's not waterproof. It smudges. It flakes on me. Mm-mm. Don't like that one. That's a mess. Another one from Jordana. This is brand new, actually. I ordered this off of Cherry Culture a while back. This is their new Color Envy Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I was just over the moon excited when I saw this, and it comes in other colors, but this is in black. I like that it's tiny, but it's so flimsy, and there's not enough bristles here to actually... I don't know. I just felt it really difficult to control, and I couldn't do a winged eyeliner, and... Oh, I just couldn't do a wing with it. I love that it dries to a super matte finish. It dries really quickly, but it flakes. It flakes, and it gets really crusty. It's not waterproof. Mm -mm, I do not recommend those at all. I know, I'm sorry if you guys like that, but <laughs> I just don't like that at all. So, this is another hair product. This is from Garnier Fruchis. This is their Curl Sculpting Cream Gel in Extra Hold. I really did like this. I mean, I really, really loved it because it didn't dry my hair out and it really helped. You know, I have naturally curly hair, surprisingly, and uh, I really did like it. And I think I'm going to try one from Giovanni, I think has something similar to this, so I think I'll give that a go. The e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick. Can you tell that this has been well loved? <laughs> I love this so much. I already have a backup. And it's just really great and lightweight. Surprisingly, I like to put this on my eyes as sort of an eye cream. And I usually do that in the morning, sometimes at night. But I love it. It's just really quick and easy. I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, but I love it. This is the Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. Oh, this is like my holy grail hand cream. Oh my god, it smells so good. It, rem it reminds me so much of my grandma because she used to use the Jergens. Um, body lotion. It's something that me and my family always associate with her. Ugh. But yeah. This is the NYX Stuck On You Jet Black Eyelash Adhesive for Strip Lashes. 
Oh, this is a huge mess, you guys. Oh, it just smells like... I'm not joking. It smells like stinky ass. I don't know. I Not that I should know what stinky ass smells like, but... Oh, God, it smells really strong. It irritated my eyes. It just went all over the place. I don't like it at all. I'm on the hunt for a really good eyelash glue. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade um, Classic Ivory. I had to depot this because I was trying really hard to remove the brush on the end. Yeah, that didn't go over so well. So I did depot this into a little glass container. Love this concealer, you guys. The shade Natural matches me perfectly. I'm actually wearing that. Um, under my eyes today. Awesome concealer and everyone is saying that it's a dupe for the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer so if you're looking for a really cheap cruelty free alternative this stuff is amazing. I'm falling in love with it again. The e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder I used up a whole thing of this. Love it. You all know it's my absolute favorite I already opened up a new one and used it today because this is like my favorite, favorite product. And then this right here is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I know this is well loved and I'm sorry you guys. If it works for you, that's great. But this is so clumpy. I used it today for the very last time because it made my lashes so clumpy and like spidery and I don't like that. I will not repurchase this because it just frustrates me. <laughs> Guys, so I do have more stuff in this bag so I'm just gonna dump it right back into here. All right, I've got more makeup remover cleansing cloths. These, oh, these are the new ones. These are the exfoliating ones. These are new from the studio line. Love these, you guys. I definitely recommend them. They really get down into those pores and scrub away all your makeup. Highly recommend those. Love them. I have lotion wipes in milk and honey. I love those. Makeup remover wipes, again. The e.l.f. makeup remover pen. Love this product. It's amazing. Huge hit for me. If you do not have this, you guys, you need to get it because it's great. And another conditioner. This is my new favorite shampoo and conditioner. I love it. It's the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Conditioner. I already have a backup of this. I love it so much. Definitely, definitely a hit. I, I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce this, but this is just a cream ultra rich like body lotion. The scent of this is so nasty. It smells like baby powder mixed in with mothballs. I mean, it's just really bad. No, I would not repurchase. This is just a sample that came from Sephora and I would never re uh, think about purchasing this. Ah, no, yuck. Elf Studio Single Eyeshadow in the color Coffee Bean. And look what happened to Coffee Bean. Yeah, it shattered all over the floor. There's probably dog hair mixed in with that. Not very pretty. I don't know why I told you that, but there, now you know. Um, I will not purchase these anymore. I know I raved about these a while back. They're okay, but here's the thing. I feel like their pressed mineral eyeshadows are a thousand times better. There's better quality eyeshadows that e.l.f. provides um, within their line of products. So, yeah, I'm pretty much done with those. I used up this entire thing of foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. This stuff is amazing. I already purchased another bottle. Look at that. So awesome. I love the feeling of using up a makeup product and especially something that you really love and then opening a new one and it's just like, oh, a new one, yay. I'm actually wearing this foundation today. I just love it. It gives a really nice creamy satin matte finish. It's very moisturizing, full coverage. I love this foundation. A hit. This is the e.l.f. Lip Color in Natural. I don't even know if I can open this up because it, it broke on me and then it fell on the floor and again, no, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to purchase another one. I've had these for a really long time. I have all the colors. They're amazing. Enough said. This is the Wet n Wild Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer and this is the original one. I know they have like a shimmery one, but this is just the original. Can you tell that this has been loved? Oh yeah. The writing has worn off completely. I definitely want to repurchase this, but 
I'm trying to use up some other eye primers like the Urban Decay one. I'm trying to use that one up. So once I finish the Urban Decay one, I will definitely repurchase this one. This is another mascara. This is from Stila. This is their Major Lash Mascara. This came in a kit and I ordered this off of Hot Look a while back. The Almay Get Up and Grow Mascara, that was like my holy grail. Still to this day, I am trying to find a mascara that is similar to that, but it's, you know, a cruelty-free version. And I was like, oh, this is it, this is it, this is it. Because it's got like that sort of really hairy, bristly brush. Oh, if you don't know, steal it. It's no longer cruelty-free, which makes me so freaking angry, so no, I won't repurchase this, but it was a really good mascara. Alright, more stuff. I have the e.l.f. conditioning lip balm in Peaceful Pink. Now, there is some more left in here, but I did a really good dent. I put a really good dent in this, but um, something went wrong with the formula. I don't think I will repurchase this color because I love the one in Nice and Natural. That's like, oh, my favorite. Now, I'm sorry this is a long video. Alright, this is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Foundation. This is in the shade light. This was way, way too dark for me. Wait a minute, did the camera move? I think it did. Their color range in this line, not so great. This is already expired and it smells a little bit weird and it's starting to separate <laughs> from itself. So um, this needs to go. It's just been sitting around. I haven't used it hardly at all. This is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in coffee. Oh, wow, that just went flying out of my hands. This is a beautiful, um, just chocolatey brown. I don't know if I will repurchase this or not. I think I would definitely consider doing that. It's only a dollar and it works really great. I used the whole container of the e.l.f. nail polish remover pads. These are awesome, you guys. They're only like a couple dollars or something. And they just have these little teeny, there's a couple left in here, but they dried out. <laughs> they dried out on me. They just look like this. And you pull them out and you remove your nail polish. And they work really well. They smell like citrus, like oranges. And they're just really great and handy, especially if you're traveling. And you don't want to carry a bottle of nail polish remover with you. I love these. I already have two of them as a backup. Love. Total hit. Alright, and the last but not least, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I used this thing to death. <laughs> no joke. And it's completely empty. I mean, I scraped the bottom. The applicator is like, can you see that? It's falling apart. <laughs> I mean, I just used this till it's pretty much it's, it's all gone. So I need to buy another one. Love this. It's the perfect pinky, like mauvey pink nude for your lips. Alright you guys, that's it that completes my empties, woo! That was a lot of stuff. And probably um, the next time I do another empties video, it probably won't be as much as this, but i just been using things up and I love just the feeling of using up a product. If you guys missed my use it or lose it video on products that I want to use up and get out of my collection, definitely check that out. I will link it down below in case you missed that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a quick thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's completely free and I post videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on a Sunday. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you all have a great Friday and a great weekend. Weekends are always the best, aren't they? They're just awesome. Thank you guys again. And um, if you have any other like video requests, definitely leave a comment down below. So I will see you all next time. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.